how to use Typeform tutorial step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Typeform. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to typeform.com and then you're just going to click on sign up over here. And from there, you can sign up for free for Typeform. So it doesn't require a credit card or anything at all. So what you're just going to do is you can enter your email or password, and then you have to agree to their terms of service, or you can sign up with Google as well. So I am just going to sign up with my Google account over here. So once you do that, this is going to be your page once you sign up. So you're just going to click on get set up, and then you're going to enter your name over here. And I'm just going to press enter. You're gonna add your last name. And then you're going to add what kind of services you're going to be requiring from Typeform according to your use. So let's say I just want this for personal use and I'm just going to click on OK. And then the main activity you want to do using Typeform. So let's say maybe I just want to um, conduct research. So I'm just going to click on B and I'm going to click on OK. And then you're going to add how you would discover Typeform. So after that, you're just going to click on let's do this. And then you can get started with Typeform. So Typeform has this template gallery that they will present you with. If you don't want to take a look at the templates right off the bat, you can just close this from here and this is going to be your basic workspace. So you can see you have your basic workspace over here and then you can connect to different applications on the left side over here. And then also you have your help and inspiration section. And then on your right, you have your private section as well. So you can just click on add workspace and then you can create different workspaces. So you can name one for school and then you can add all of your schoolwork over there. So I have a private workspace space called school and then within the school workspace what I can do is I can click on create type form from here and then I can start from scratch and create my survey or feedback or whatever kind of poll I want to create so let's say maybe I want to create a simple little poll and I'm gonna click on poll over here and I can just create a poll using this poll template or I can also start from scratch but I'm just going to create a poll for like a school study and I can just use this um, political poll template and what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the questions I want to add. So I'm just going to click on use this template and I'm just going to use the template and customize it now. And you know, this is how simple and easy it is to create all of your surveys with Typeform and to make them interactive as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to name my poll. I'm just going to name it gender studies and I'm just creating a poll so you can create a research survey, a quest form, a registration form, a checklist, application form, a lead generation form, whatever you might want to. But I'm just going to create a simple form and I'm just going to click on over here. And what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to add the question. So you can see that this is what the basic poll is going to look like. So I'm going to delete this section and I'm going to edit the text over here. So this is going to be the welcome screen. And I want this to be uh, gender uh, studies uh, poll, the biological prerequisites. So whatever text you want. So I'm going to add biological prerequisites to gender and I'm going to add take poll and enter. And now I'm going to go into the multiple choice selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my basic section over here. I want this to be multiple choice and I'm going to add one choice. The first question is going to be what is your gender so i have added my second question over here and how you add questions is that like i have added this question as a scaling question but what you're just going to do is you're going to click on your left over here this plus icon and then you're going to just add your new question and then you can select what kind of question you want so let's say i just want another multiple choice question and then i'm going to input my question over here so let's say i want to add a question called uh do you play sports so you can add thank you for filling out your survey or you can add any other text at the bottom on their endings and you can just click on this over here and then they can create your, their own type form as well. You can add your social media links, you can add a button, uh, you can remove the to create a type form button as well and you can remove these icons as well. But I like to add like social media icons usually. Now with the design of your type form a survey or poll or whatever you're looking to create, you can just go on over here into the design section and then you can add a theme to your questionnaire. So you can go into your gallery and change the color. You can change change you know the look of your questionnaire if you want there are some premium templates
templates available and some uh, free templates available on Typeform as well for you to pick out from. So you can apply like a very cohesive theme on your entire little uh, questionnaire. So you can see then you can go into your logic section and see the logic of all of your questions. And if you're looking to create even complex research paper studies, you can easily go into the logic section and have them really simplified and help you better understand your own questionnaires. Now, after your create section, you have your connect section as well. So if you click on connect over here, you can share your type form with multiple people. Once you publish your type form, you can connect it with some integrations as well. So if you have Slack, Google Analytics, Google Drive, HubSpot, if you want to connect this with any other third party application, you can do that as well. Now with your sharing options, you also have a link sharing, which is the most commonly used. So once you click on publish over here, you publish your little type form and then you get a copy link so you can just share this with people and then if you go on to your share section over here on your top as well you can just share this with a embedded in a web page so a full web page if you want a pop-up a side tab a popover a slider so however you want your type form to appear or you can also launch an email to promote or share your type form and then you have your results section where you're going to be able to see the results that you get from your audience so you're going to have your insight summary and responses and you have your basic analytics in your insights you can view the devices that people are answering from you can see when people have answered this most frequently and then you can find more details if you subscribe to their premium version for more data and analytics so this is how easy it is to create your type form now once you have a hang of it you can create so many different kinds of forms and it's pretty simple and easy and it really elevates your forms rather than just creating something something like a Google Doc or something like, you know, the basic kind of Google Docs that everyone fills. Uh, those are very simple. And this really elevates your work to the next level or your schoolwork or even just your private business to a better level. So as lovely as Typeform is, it is not available just for free. So they do have a free version. Don't worry about that. There, you can create simple forms like I just did on their free version, but uh, there is a limitation to Typeform. So you do have to subscribe to a premium version eventually when you're using Typeform. So they start at $25 where you can get 100 responses per month, one user, unlimited Typeforms, and unlimited questions. And then on the plus version, you have 50 USD per month if you bill yearly. And then you can generate or record over a thousand responses per month with over three users. And you can also remove the Typeform branding and have a custom subdomain. And on the business version, starting at $83, you get 10 10,000 responses. So it's not like you get 10,000 responses. By getting uh, responses, I mean that you're going to be able to record that many responses. So on my free version of the type form, and even if I get 10,000 responses, I'm only going to be able to collect data of over 100. And then uh, type form is no longer going to collect the data because it's the free version. And then on your business version, you can collect over 10,000 responses with five users and drop off dates as well. And you also have conversion tracking and priority support support and live chat so it's a great form especially if you're like a phd student and you're constantly conducting research then i do think that subscribing to their basic or plus version is definitely worth it if you're doing like marketing and research and your job depends on it then go for the business version but if you're a student go for the plus or basic version so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to use typeform as a beginner and create your own custom forms make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video